these religious people. Yeah, that, that Jesus talked about in the Bible. That Jesus talked about? Yeah. What do you mean religious people that Jesus talked about? Well, Jesus was constantly um, mo talking about the Pharisees and how they puffed themselves up with knowledge, but the love was not in them. So their love for the law of the legalism and held themselves above other people. What were they a white yeah, yeah, tombs? I'm, I'm definitely a, a legalistic one that views superiority with the commitment to the written word. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so solo scriptura. Very good. Cool. K KGV? No. You go back to the Hebrew and the Greek? I'm in the process of trying to turn teach myself Hebrew. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so... Religion undefiled, First James 27, is visiting the widows, looking after the orphans, and visiting people in prison, something like that, I'm butchering it. So yeah. that, that's, that's showing the faith, having that love. Nonsense. Okay, could you describe... Uh, God, has, God has no tolerance for sin around God. Um, we have free will. People are experiencing cause and effect. Um, there are some people in need, and there can be assistance there, but you can no offer to help someone unless they're trying to help themselves. So if there's no propitiation for, for sin, it says neither fornicator, adulterer, this, that, the other, will inherit the kingdom of God. How do you understand that verse? Are these two objects equal? They're die. Uh, probably, yeah. Just yes or no, are they equal? Simple question. Yeah. Good. You're no racist, though you're definitely wrong. Under an electron microscope, one of these has one more atom or one more molecule. There's no such thing as equal. Equal is a mathematical abstraction that has no material reality. Anytime there's a physical difference, there's a difference in value, worth, utility, purpose, possibility, potential, and most importantly, cost. Because the easiest thing to make in this world is an excuse. Okay. So inheritance, so we have salvation and then we have sanctification. When God talks about losing, gaining crowns and robes of righteousness and, and all these kind of things that we strive for as we run the race, like Paul says, that would count to your inheritance. So if you look at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Okay. Do so you think you, that all sins are the same? No, if, if one breaks, if you break one of the laws, you're accounted to all of the laws. I can show you the all, scripture. Do you think that all sins are the exact same? Absolutely not. Okay. Well, I don't get into heaven because of my righteousness. I put on God's righteousness. And by faith, Abraham was made righteous. And by the Jews... By believing in the atonement of the blood, they put their faith in the blood to come. So it wasn't about breaking the law and keeping clean. It's believing that they would be saved by the blood, that the blood was real. So when the tax collector came to the temple and went, Oh, Lord, I'm a horrible person. I've done, I've overcharged people this week. I've done some really horrible things. I've been taxing my own people. I, I am a horrible sinner. Please forgive me, and he made his offering. And then the other Pharisee came into the temple, and he went, "Lord, he made his offering. That's an I, important one." I'm so glad that I'm not like this tax collector. I've said my prayers, I've done my good deeds, I've done all that. You know, I'm so glad I'm not like this guy over here. And the tax collector went home righteous. Do you know that parable? Uh, give me a citation. Okay. The, the tax collector and the Pharisee, KGB. UK, okay, KGB is good enough for you. I can go through it if you want. Okay, here we go. To some who are confident of their own righteousness and look down on everyone no, no, else. No, I said a citation. A citation. Luke 18, so, 9 to 14. Luke 18, 9 to 14. Okay, hold on. I'll, I'll read it. You've already given your your account of the story. Okay. Um, Solo scripture, bro. Because Paul said, oh, wretched man that I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
I'm not able to continue the conversation if you're going to have the animal on the screen. Thanks. Okay, um, so in Mark 10, verse 45. I don't think I said that one. I said Luke. 18. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you, so you, brought, up, you brought up a scripture. You should... brought up a scripture, and so I'm countering with other scripture. Okay, so shall I read it? Let me just read it, and then we'll count it. To someone who are confident of their own righteousness and look down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went to the temple to pray, and one Pharisee... You've already given your account, and I already read that. No, no, no. I Listen, in, in, a, in a debate, in a respectful debate, we, we just do it properly. I'm not I, don't need to... you to labor. I, I don't need you to labor. You already gave your account. You could have quoted scripture exactly by having memorized the verse. You but gave I'm human. a paraphrase, and that's fine. But I'm human. And what? It's too, I'm human. You can memorize the scripture. But I haven't memorized this one, but I can read it. So and that's fine. And, and I said it's okay that you gave a paraphrase. So can but I, can I, I already read, read it? through the scripture. Can I read it? No. You've, you've already, are there's you, time are you, are on the you in charge? I get to set limits, and you get to set limits. So I want to read you've the scripture. Given, Listen, bro, if you want to, if you want to skip paraphrase. me. If you want to, if you want to be pharisaical, if you want to talk over me, that's fine. We're not going to learn. I'm here to have a discussion okay. and show manners and respect. You okay. can press skip if I'm, you want. I'm going to go to the next call. I wish the best for you and your faith. God bless you. Good go luck. on then. You show me your. You show me your verse then. Okay. So Mark ten verse forty five. Don't so read this it. This is why all. the different translations are so important. In the NIV and the King James version, it says that. And to give his life as a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. Now, this is totally different in the Dewey Rames version, where it says, gave his life as a redemption for many. Both words start with R, two totally different realities. Which do you side with, ransom or redemption? So I do numerology, and I go by the King James only. Do you know what numerology is? Of course. Okay, uh, it's so referred to as gematria. gematria. It's referred to as gematria. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we can test what the word of God is. And that doesn't work in any of the scripture other than King James. The Greek had a gematria to it. Yeah. And the and King James has a, a different gematria to it. Yes. The, the Bible is only in um, the Greek and the Hebrew. It doesn't work in the English language. But when we translate it back to the Greek word then we can see it, because it wasn't written in, in English. But in the King James Bible, I'm a King James only, that is the word of God. It's not another translation. So I was reading NIV, because it's easier for the message of a human to understand. But when I'm trying to have a debate, and people say this word or that word, I go, well, actually, it's only this word. And then we can go back to the Greek, and sometimes the English language limits our understanding. So if you go into KGV, I can, we can not discuss it, we can just say it's this word. If you want to. Okay, and, and so you think it is a ransom for many? Well, let's just go to the KGV. What, what did you say? It was it was Mark 10? Yeah, as I've said, King James says ransom. Okay, so ransom, yeah, ransom. Okay, and so you think there was a more powerful force than God and Jesus that a payment had to be made to to allow for the redemption. No, it can't be. Well, that's what ransom implies. What do you mean? What the does... police don't make a rant the, the police don't make a ransom payment to the terrorist. They capture him. When you make a ransom payment to someone, they have more power over you. So who's what, the ransom what, payment? What denomination are you, bro? Are you denominational? Bro would be the wrong word choice. Bro is uh, a word uh, that uh, refers to family. No, but, but I wouldn't call you brother it. because... Bloodlines. Bloodlines are very important, absolutely essential, vital, that you should have more respect for your mother and the sacrifices and commitments she made for you. Are you racist? Oh, absolutely. You need to read through the Bible, man. Okay, so in, in Exodus, Matthew, the book of Exodus, Matthew, they, Matthew they came out in a off multitude. With the genealogy of Jesus. Okay. The... Old Testament, the Tanakh, the Torah is explicitly all about bloodlines and purity. The Erev Rav, the mixed multitude, 
were worshiping a golden calf. The they, Torah gives they, they one came, sentence to they the came out. Came out. So I'm, I'm actually a direct descendant of the, the, the tribe of Cohen. So I'm priest class. Very good. Okay, cool. But I'm a Gentile. And I was, okay. I was, I was grafted in through grace. Salvation came through the Jews. Now, most of the people weren't, what, what you Manasseh or Ephraim? Please continue. Are you from the tribe? I'm trying to understand that, that you, you have this, this knowledge that you're speaking of and all this kind of stuff. I'm trying to understand, do you understand what you are? Are you Manasseh? You're American, so you're probably Manasseh. Please continue with your line of logic. So I'm, I'm a tribe of Ephraim. So most of the people, Jesus came from the line of Judah. So he wasn't related to us. He didn't look like us. And I know that because some people see Jesus in visions. And very rarely they see the colour. So my Thai partner saw Jesus in a vision. And when I tried to trick her up because she'd only seen white Jesus. Because I didn't believe her. And she'd only seen white Jesus. And I showed her said, tell me about We can ring her up now if you want to talk to her. She'll be asleep now. But she said, what, what colour was Jesus? And he goes, she's a light Thai. And I'm quite a dark white, like I'm yellow, I'm what Ukrainian in me. And she pointed and said, a little bit a, a little bit lighter than me. She saw Jesus. He didn't look like us, bro. And multi, a very few people will see his colour, but they do. You're saying Jesus was Thai, Asian? No, the colour of his skin was lighter than hers. But she pointed to his skin. All she'd ever seen was white Jesus. She knows nothing of the Bible. She's Christian. But she, she knows very little. She just loves God. Of course, Jesus was white, yes. Was he? Who told you that? Yes. Do, 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 what colour what color was Muhammad? I'm an evangelist. I study different different faiths. What colour was Muhammad? He was born immaculately. Muhammad? Uh, Muhammad. I, I'm, I, I could draw a cartoon of I'd him. I'd love you like. to draw a cartoon because I mock him as well. But listen... He, he looked like you, Mohammed. He, he was quite ginger and very, very fair, white oh, in complexion. Yeah, I have heard you. yeah so he, he was, he was a white man with a ginger beard. And Jesus isn't really described. People, even the Hebrew Israelites, when they talk about him, they're lost as well. But that's Jesus coming back to judge. Burnish, they, they couldn't even recognise him in a crowd. That's why the um, thing had to come up and, and kiss him. He didn't have long hair. Everyone that sees him says it's about here. It wasn't long. It was effeminate to have long hair. People couldn't see him and identify him. He just stood. It was like the normal people. Moses, when Moses was in Egypt, he blended in with the people because he wasn't white. This, 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 this Even when you go to salvation comes from the Jews, you had to be Jewish. Yeah, it was lineage. When grace came in, the Gentiles were being saved. And then in Galatians, it goes. That there, there is neither male nor female. Listen to this one; it's beautiful. Absolutely, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, slave nor free, male nor female. You are all one in Christ. So my identity isn't in my skin color. It isn't in my lineage. It's in nothing. It's in Christ, and and it shatters and people. And he says, "Love your neighbor as yourself." So even no, the, that quoting Leviticus, that is quoting Leviticus. They're the Ten Commandments. They're the Ten Commandments. It's the second commandment of the uh, other eight commandments that are born of them. Love thy neighbor is in Leviticus. Did you go to jail? Did you go to jail? No. So how did you get this racist ideology? I'm trying to wonder. Uh, do, do, I'd love to are, listen. Do, if... If you're able to create children with the one woman that you belong... There's only two kinds of people on this planet. Those that are trying to be white, aiming for purity and responsibility. Those that are trying to be black, aiming for no responsibility. There's an Asian version of white. There's an Indian version of white. There's a Middle Eastern, a European, a Latin American version of white. There is no black. There's no African version of white. What happened in Africa before colonizers arrived is the most dreadful occurrence to have ever happened in history. The cutting of a clitoris off of a newborn girl... 12-year-old female, 30-year-old female, something that still happens in more than 50% of the territories in Africa today. 
Why? So that the males can hedonistically feed their appetite for sex with no responsibility. Okay. Something that's recommitted to in the rap and the rape and the rap and the no one so, says rape. So, so what about like what me. about sixty million Americans being killed in the womb? Where's your stand on abortion? Which is worse? If you are let's able hold to it, hold ourselves to the same lens. If you're able to create children with the one woman that you belong to, do you want your children to mix with blacks? I don't care. Yes or no? I don't care. Honestly, I. That was an incredible conversation. Don't look at me. It's 